but as well as getting your life together, man, and just observe who's around you and who you want to be around. You know, put yourself in places that's... All right, what's up, y'all? It's 202 Wink. And I need to pick up some more essentials. Tank tops, y'all know when seasons change, I try to get more tank tops. So, summertime, pretty much over. It's basically about to be fall. I'm not. Either way, I bought some tank tops weeks ago. And uh, it's just time for some more tank tops. I might come back in here to see about some food. Up of course, it's right next door to the oil and fragrance store. So, I'm definitely going to treat myself to another oil and maybe another actual uh, fragrance. I wouldn't go for one of them Latafas, especially since I was uh, getting ready today. And I was using my little orange Latafa junk, the little Latafa Yara junk. And that junk, I got like this much left. So that junk was, I was dogging that junk. It smelled good as a mug. And it was a compliment for the, but I'm here for the tank tops. Uh, extra large, and I'll be good for a little minute. Excuse me. So I got the tank tops now. Time to go into the little oil store. <clears throat> How you doing? Do y'all got this? Uh, well, I can see what y'all got. Can I smell the white one then? The white Yara? Oh, shoot, y'all got the blue one too? Okay, can I smell the white one and the blue one? Okay, cool. So, okay. so I just smell both y'all. And the blue. Just like I thought. Well, the white one, they both smell good. The white one smells cleaner though. But uh, the blue one, I can just smell so much. It just reminds me of the beach. So I ended up going with the blue junk, which is the Zanzibar. Now, like I was saying uh, in the store, oh yeah, the lady in front of me was staring at me like a mug, so she was throwing me off. But um, just ask what I do. But uh, either way, well, mind you, I smelled it when I went to um, the mall the other time anyway, so I just wanted to smell it again. And it won me over. Like, it ain't no male, female fragrances. Like, if it smells good, buy that shit. Cause anybody could wear that and smell good, I believe. And, uh, I'm actually hungry. I'm gonna walk down here and see what other stores they got. I seen a ramen bar. I don't really want no Ubers and Noodles though. Okay. I gotta get me another, uh, a new tripod, y'all. But, cause I be using my hand, I'm getting tired of that, but. This is DC. Of course you can see what's new and what's been here. Came inside the little parking spot to use the bed. I mean, this is over top of the parking spot, but. Came back here to use the bathroom. I gotta be back at my house so this guy can finish doing it so he can measure some windows. But, decent bathroom. So he can measure some with my way back too. But it's like, I need to eat and drink and you, of course, use the bathroom. So I'm trying something new. Well, I'm trying to try something new. I'm gonna go for the uh, shrimp taco. I hope it's good. Batter shrimp, cabbage salad, and the uh, spicy mayo. So. And I guess it's $4 a piece. All I need is one for the ride. So I'm gonna get some of Person, so I'm definitely gonna go for the uh, orange jones and the uh, and the habanero ash and the creamy habanero. So I'm about to put that together. If the water is complimentary, I'm about to add. I ain't read nothing. I should have kept the paper. So it was complimentary. I'm glad I asked. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is gonna be a great vlog. Like find new places. Back in the car, it's hot, and I stopped there because I was hungry. Now, so I'm not about to wait to eat. Sorry about sorry to the guy at the house, but whole time he was supposed to show up at one and ain't show up till three. So I'm gonna fast forward through me talking shit. That's what happens when people make plans and don't know what other people have to do. 
but that's nobody's fault. The point is, I'm not gonna not feed myself to still get somewhere not on time, per se. That's like one time, uh, let me show y'all what it looked like. But that's like one time I had somebody, I was going somewhere, but I hadn't ate all day, so I'm like, I need to get some food. And they was like, are you could, uh, you could drive and eat. I'm like, no, the fuck I can't. I'm about to sit up right here and eat my food. I'm not to be rushing, driving and eating. And all. Like, that's doing too much. Some, like, that's cool. Sometimes if you're cooling and driving and eating, but if you're trying to do something, like, sometimes too much stuff be going on and you just need to sit and relax because that's how things happen. Let me show y'all what this daggone taco look like. This is why I got one. Dang, my flash ain't come on. Hold hold on. But when I'm trying somewhere for the first time, I will definitely only get a little bit or just one of whatever because you never know. Now, this don't... It smell a little, what is this, pickled? Uh, I said pickled salad. Mm, that don't taste too bad. Or oh, it said, um, whatever it said, it tastes pickled. I'm telling y'all that. But it don't seem nasty. Put a little lime on it. Uh, see what this tastes like. Mm. That's spicy. But like I was saying, y'all, don't rush yourself for other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes take your time. Especially when you're not on nobody time, for real. Like, and I'm going to have to make another video about that. Because when you're trying to look out for everybody else and do this and that, like, you will, like, it's not good. Like, if you see yourself doing that, catch it and, uh, and correct it. Because it's just not good. Do things for yourself first, even if it's just something as simple as sitting down and eating before you go do whatever for somebody else. If somebody needs somebody to do something else so bad, always have a backup plan or do it yourself. And even if you did make the plans, like sometimes things, you know, you just, just look out for yourself. That's the main thing. Mm. That's all right. That's spicy. It just made my head sweat. Mm. But it's good. It's good. I get this again whole time. Found a new little spot. You can eat in there or you can eat in a little area that I showed y'all. I'm going to try this one. Mm. This a little tangier. But. This don't got heat to it. Like that real heat. Like my ears just get warm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love me some tacos, y'all. No bunny. I even found like the soft strip. But yeah, y'all, y'all messing with the vlogs with Solo. At first, I was just gonna go home so I can get to the main or whatever, get to the house or whatever. But I'm like, man, I gotta get my vlog in. I want my fragrance, I'm gonna treat myself to my fragrance, I'm doing good. You know what I'm saying? Housing process coming along, I'm gonna tell y'all about that. But, uh, that's gonna be a little much. I'm just trying to show y'all. I'm just trying to show y'all. I'm gonna have a good little life. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like I got a good little life going. That junk got me hot. I'm gonna go back there. I like that junk. And when I say get inspired and go do something, and also just the power of like being alone and independent. It's a lot of people out here that wouldn't have been able to come do this by themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just don't like to come, like, do things by themselves. Like, they always have to have somebody with them or be with a group of people. That's not good. In my opinion, that's not always good. But as well as getting your life together, man, and just observe who's around you and who you want to be you know, around. Put yourself in places and spaces where it's like-minded thinking going on. There's likeness going on. 
if you're hanging around a bunch of bums, you're going to end up being a bum too. And if, and if you're not, why are you hanging around them? Like, what are you getting out of that, you know? Be around people that bring you up and elevate you, not people that bring you down and secretly hate you. Yeah, you hear me? Hold up. But, but not nah, for real, because you can have people around you that got secret animosity, bad intentions. <laughs> just trying to come up off you because people will try to do that people are so lazy and conniving as well that they don't want to do nothing for themselves they just want to ride somebody else's coattail they just want to come up up off of somebody else and try to you know claim that thing but watch out for those type of people you're supposed to have people around you that support you and that's building you up and motivating you not people that's bringing you down whole time this is why i think i caught my nail in my tire they always doing something on the street, y'all. Every year for the last seven years, I swear to God, since I've been driving. Like, for the last seven or eight years, every summer, they're doing something over here. Like, they just can never get it right. It's just always something. So, I came out here to the little crafty crab. Changed my shirt, as y'all can see. I had a white shirt on. But once something get on it, that be it for me. But, um... Yeah, we getting crafty crab. Y'all know me. I was gonna go get some whole crabs, but... Captain White's closed at, what, 8 o'clock? So, $18 a dozen, I can't get that. So, I was like, why not get a pound and a half of crawfish for, like, $20? Pretty much around the same joke. So, I'm going to treat myself to that because why not? Treat yourself. Treat yourself. I deserve this. So, yeah, I'm waiting for my little pound and a half. All right, y'all. So, once I got home, I actually did a live stream or a couple live streams eating the actual seafood. You can check that out on my channel. It's called uh, Seafood and Cooling or something like that. So, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for coming along with me. Subscribe, comment, share this junk. We going up.